You guys, I am so excited to show you what's in here. So we're just gonna open it together. Don't mind me. I mean, I really mean it when we're gonna open it together. So, do you guys have any idea what this is? Guess in the comments. All right. So I had this company reach out to me from Florida and they sent me a model Starship. They asked me if I wanted one. Um, yeah? This is so exciting and cool. And I've been looking forward to this delivery for a bit now. Not too long, they were actually pretty fast. But I was excited. So they actually just made a Tesla bot that I also now want. They make 3D printed models of just about anything you can think of. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Oh, this is so cool. All right. Okay, I'm gonna put, put you in place there. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm like beyond thankful uh, to have this Starship model. And it's actually what I wanted to talk to you guys about. If you saw the video recently with Elon and Baby X talking about, now we think the orbital launch will be in January. And we're, we're close to our initial launch, um, our initial orbital launch. We've done several suborbital flights um, and I've been able to, to land the vehicle successfully. Um, the first orbital flight uh, we're hoping to do in, in January. Elon says, don't expect it to be a success, but he does think that they will have a successful orbital attempt sometime in 2022 next year. Hard to believe that we're almost in 2022. Um, there's a lot of risk associated with this first launch, so I would not say that uh, it is likely to be success, uh, successful, but I think we'll, we'll make a lot of progress. So Starship will be undergoing plenty of tests in December ahead of that anticipated January date for the launch attempt. We learned all of this from Elon Musk and Baby X during a video conference with the National Academy of Sciences. You know, there's, there's, there's a fundamental juncture in, in the uh, history of really any civilization on a single planet, which is, do you get to the second planet or do you not? I propose we do. And Elon expects that they will carry out a dozen or more orbital test flights with Starship next year. Of course, this is later than they originally projected. At one point, Gwen Shotwell said that they were thinking June, then they were thinking July, then November, hopefully. And you know what, if it is in January, I really hope that I can get there because number one, I've never seen a rocket launch. Number two, I've already been to Boca Chica and I just already feel so married to Starship and its progress. I definitely wanna see this. And number three, I have to actually stay at Rocket Ranch because you know I profiled it in a video and toured the property, but all of those reasons will drive me back to Texas. <laughs> The FAA is still working on those environmental reviews, but they should be finished by the end of 2021, which lines up pretty nicely with a, an attempted date in January. We also learned in the call that SpaceX's launch pad and launch tower in Boca Chica will be completed later this month, so that's pretty exciting. According to its FCC filing, Starship will launch out of South Texas and splash down off the coast of Hawaii during its 90 minute orbital test flight. And Elon Musk says to colonize Mars and become multi-planetary, he estimates they'll need about a thousand or more of these starships. Um, and then we've also built a, a factory for making a lot of these vehicles. So this is not a case of just, just one or two. 
um, we're aiming to make um, a great many. If you guys are interested in having one of your own awesome 3D printed models of either Starship or Teslabot, or like I said, plenty of other options, I will link in the description where you can go. This company is out of Florida called Bohemso, Bohemso, I'm not really sure how to say it. However, I do know that um, I'm very impressed with this uh, with this model and I'm so excited to have it as part of my space background minus the Mirabel trophy. Uh, that doesn't fit in, but it's important to me, so it's in the bookcase. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment if you did, and also what you're most excited about with Starship.